What makes the boyhood home of President Woodrow Wilson in Augusta, Georgia so special is that he developed his leadership skills here as president of the Lightfoot Baseball Club. He experienced the hardships of the Civil War. He grounded his deep Presbyterian faith, and he also learned to read, overcoming and battling his um, dyslexia. And those things really had a profound influence on him, not only as a little boy, but for the rest of his life. Uh, although each, each room tells its own story about life in the period, it's the bedroom that we get this sense of this little boy who grew up to become President of the United States. The wonderful drawings that he did, the uh, listing of his Lightfoot Baseball Club members, uh, I think that gives us a sense of his childhood that's very important. Visitors who come to the home are often surprised that Woodrow Wilson was actually a Southerner. So many people know that he was elected president after he was governor of New Jersey, and they're surprised to learn that he was born in Virginia and that he spent uh, a very long time in the South. In fact, he lived in this home longer than any other house for the rest of his life. We learned that um, President Wilson as a child took his mother's wedding band and etched his name into the window, uh, but only got the T-O-M of his name Tommy into it before someone discovered him and, and uh, stopped him. So um, it's really amazing that it lasted this long. One of the things that I enjoy most when I give a tour is giving a tour to children and the delight in their eyes when they realize that Woodrow Wilson was a little boy just like them, that he did things that children today still enjoy. He loved baseball and animals, and he had friends, and he went to church on Sundays. And I love to see the, the look in their eyes when they discover that they too could be president. <laughs>